What's up, everybody? Jason Jaspies, CaseMakes.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to give away $1,000 in break credit if you buy two or more teams in this 2021 Rookies and Stars Football 40 box cereal case break. Pick your team's number one. So, first, guys, like I said, it is a case break, all card ship. How to get entry into this giveaway is by buying two or more teams. You buy two teams, you get one entry. Buy four teams, you get two entries. Buy six teams, you get three entries. So, at the end, we'll alphabetize the customer names and see who got two or more teams and put you guys in a little randomizer. And top two win $500 each. So here we go, guys. Thank you guys right here. PYT number one. Terry got like the last six, I think. Last by Mojo Bears. cereal boxes 40 of these bad boys so most likely we'll rip like five at a time ten at a time actually we'll probably do that or 20 I don't know. only one pack boxes but just the time and effort to take them all out It really is, Terry. It's just a, it's just always a cardboard. <laughs> I would have just put it in a pack. It's like this might be the most time-consuming part, honestly. But yes, you're right. It's just a forty-pack break, but it's just the cereal boxes, you know. See, the Mosaic ones and the Chronicles ones are cool because you can still actually get, you can actually still get, like, like you know, Mosaic stained glass and shit. I honestly don't know what the exclusive is for this. Optichrome inserts. Just need to work faster, Rex? Well, I'm probably the fastest working breaker here, probably. Hands down. Let's do it, Travis. I'm down. Just this and SPA. That's it. That's all we got lined up. But hey. Think of it this way. Maybe we get some nice hits. If you don't, maybe you win back $500 brick credit codes. Many trees die for our addiction. <laughs> you know what actually Rookies and Stars has? Is it has these Crusade inserts that look really nice. That's right, Terry. That's right. Don't worry about him, Brody. Rex just tries to get under my skin. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I think he's got into Joe a couple times, though. Five more.
Need a rack some. <laughs> Dude, if I gave you guys some wrenches, you guys. Honestly, I think some of you guys would be good peoples and actually use it for the good. Yeah, well, you know what, Brody, though, now? It's actually a good thing, though, because now it's going to fill up, like, two breaks. And it's a promo break now, so... Kind of think of it as a good thing. It's gonna be hard for me to say yes, but retail usually does give you an opportunity, but I, w I would really highly doubt it. We'll find out though. Maybe in a case you can. I know for sure in blasters there's definitely chances, but cereal boxes, I think this is the first time I'm breaking an actual cereal box. Like case, I should say. All right, let's go with these first. Some of the rookies and stars and are really nice. So like I said, these ones here, they look awesome. Airborne. Like I said, the Crusades look really nice too. Ryan Tannehill. Looks like a red wave or something, right? Kyler Murray. Looks really nice. The Megas for Rookies and Stars are loaded. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard the Megas are nice. Jamar Chase. Airborne Justin Fields. Terrell Davis. Calvin Ridley. Nice Zach Wilson right there. Kyle Pitts. Mac Daddy Jones. T Law rookie. Nice Trey Lance. Devontae. DK. Airborne. Kyle Trask. Cal Pitts Crusade. Justin Herbert. Nice Tom Brady. That looks really nice, actually. Derek Henry. Nice Trey Lance Red. Mac, Daddy Jones. That's like a true silver crusade. Stellar rookies. Is this like the? Is this like the, the ones you can find here as case hits or something? It's like really nice actually. Forty nine is going to Terry. That looks awesome, actually. Najee Silver. Brady. Calvin Ridley. Joe Montana. Tom Brady. Trey Lance. Jalen Waddle.
Alright, let's finish some more boxes. Alright, that should be the remainder of the uh, of the 20 boxes right here from the first 20. Najee, Mac Jones Airborne. Patty Mahomes Crusade. Zach Wilson, Kyle Pitts. Stellar Rookies, Mac Jones. These Stellar Rookies look really nice. Justin Fields. Stellar rookies, Zach Wilson. Patty Mahomes Airborne. Devontae Smith, Trey Lance. Patty Mahomes Crusade. Davis Mills, Heinz Ward. Joe Burrow. Nice little silver interstellar, Trey Lance. Looks nice. Kurt Warner. Interstellar, Javante Williams. Mills, Tony G, Devontae, Dan the Man Marino, Interstellar. Justin Fields. Zach Wilson. Steve Young. Hey, Brody, did you end up uh, grading that Trevor Lawrence you got? The gold? Or selling it by any chance? Rip the next 20. So actually, guys, this break probably will actually take me like 30 40 minutes, not really an hour.
Oh, sorry, it was Mac Jones. Did I say Trevor Lawrence? I meant Mac Jones. Gotcha. Just know that I think that Mac... Well, if you send it with PSA, I think it's going to have to be in its own. They're going to upcharge you, probably. Because it's probably going to sell... It's going to be, like, the highest, like, value, probably. I don't know if you have other, other higher values, but... You'll probably have to submit that one on its own. You'll get it much faster, though, but... There'll be an upcharge for it, because it's an expensive card. Are you sure you don't want to just go to the, the movie theater right there? No. At all? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, but it's so close. That's fine. Whatever. If you want to, I'm down. We just have to get, like... Yeah, we just need to know if he's okay with that. If not, then, like... Maybe you can ask, be like, we were thinking of taking it there, be like, do you think you'd be interested in that? If not, we could just walk around. Walk around the pike. If not, we can walk around the pike and then go to the movies. I think he might like the area to walk around like where we scooter. Yes. Dude, it's like right there though. It's so convenient. And it might not be every theater like that. One dude offered me 12k in cash the day I pulled it, but I turned him down. Then one sold on eBay and it said for about 20. Yeah, that's a little low ball right there. Especially since yours is gold, and especially since the one of one sold for a hundred thousand dollars supposedly. Yeah, I wouldn't think. I wouldn't have taken that for 12. The hell are you talking about, Rex? <laughs> That's what it says, Terry. Although there was rumors that also the guy that actually bought it for a hundred thousand flipped it for like a hundred and fifty thousand, but I doubt it. I think it was fake. The guy decided the guy that bought it was grading it, and I think it graded a PSA ten. Yeah, it's just the way it goes with those kind of cars, Terry. People really believe in the guy, so they will invest dumb money. Now, either it's going to pay off for him in the long run, or he's going to lose out on a lot of money. We just don't know, you know? 
we can all assume that he might not be the guy long term and he just doesn't have it in him but then he turns out to be it and then that guy's a genius you know for only spending a hundred thousand for it <laughs> come on Rex close your ears when the, when adults are talking man Rex jeez No, we're talking about our, our godson. He told us he wanted to go see Thor with us. So, we're planning out uh, taking him on our weekend off this weekend. Taking him to uh, to go eat, walk around at the aquarium there in downtown Long Beach, and then taking him to the, to the movies. Well, see, that's, yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing, Brody. Yeah, like, we can all say that, you know? Because look at all the people that were saying, you know, that didn't believe in Patrick Mahomes' his rookie year, right? He didn't even play his whole rookie year. You know, people were buying him up still. You know, or people that were buying up, you know, so-and-so their first year or two. I mean, sometimes you hit it on the mark, and sometimes you're just totally off and you're wrong, you know? Because let's just say, I mean, let's just be honest. I'm not saying he is going to be a great quarterback for a long time, but let's just say he is, right? He's a pro bowler. He maybe wins a Super Bowl or wins an MVP. You know, just has great stats. That $100,000... That $100,000 card at the time is probably a great investment. You know? But we can't predict what's going to happen, though, right? That's, that's the one thing. That card could be worth, like, $40,000 next year because of how he plays... And I don't even think it's just more him. It's just the, t t the success of the team. There's Brady workers worth millions of dollars, Terry. <laughs> Brady's on a whole nother level. Najee Harris. Mac Jones. But it's just hard to compare, though, at the same time, from Brady rookies to to Mac Jones, because, first of all, it's a different era, different time in the hobby. And second of all, you know, his stuff is more rare. Because he wasn't really, he wasn't really a top pick. I'm not saying they didn't make cards of him, but it's not like, it's not like nowadays where if you're like a lower end pick, you're probably all over products. But we're talking about the Black Finite Mac Jones. Javante Williams and Trey Lance. <laughs> nice. And they're still are there. Pits. Yeah, the one thing that ends up being the most expensive for Brady are like his contenders rookie tickets. The other ones that go for big coin. I think it'd be like PSA 6, 7s. So they were just hard to grade. And they still go for millions. Yeah, 
Interstellar, Jamar Chase. Or Stellar Rookies, sorry, not Interstellar. Stellar Rookies, Fields. I don't know, Rex. Was he really that good of a baseball player? I mean, the only person, the only person that like we can honestly say that like, if he had played football, he had been a Hall of Famer, or if he had stuck to baseball, he had been a Hall of Famer. Was probably Bo Jackson, right? I mean, because you guys got a glimpse. I didn't get a glimpse because I wasn't born yet. But you guys that grew up in the '80s, you guys got a glimpse of both, right? '80s, '90s, whenever he played. I mean, I don't know, like, it's, I think that's the only player that you can say probably, like, if he had stuck to football or had stuck to baseball, he would have been, like, a Hall of Famer in both of them. I, I can't speak for, like, Brady or anything like that, because I don't even know how good he was. And he never really truly gave it a shot. I mean, Dion was good, too, but I don't think he was as good as Bo. I mean, let's just be honest, right? Dion did win a Super Bowl and a World, Cha a World Series. But I don't think Dion was, like, super, super good, though, right? I mean, he was just really fast. And I'm not saying he wasn't talented, but I think Bo was, like, the better of, of the both dual-sport athletes. Bro. I mean, Kyler Murray was, like, a top 10 pick. I mean, I don't know. Could he have, would he, if he had chosen baseball... Could he have been pretty good? I mean, Russell Wilson was like a third or fourth round pick, but. Justin Fields, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, without question, Brody it would. His, his, I mean, if we think Trout's cards are expensive, just imagine if Trout actually won World Series. <laughs> just imagine that, dude. I mean, if Trout had just like had already just won a couple World Series, I mean, his shit would just be insane. Trevor Lawrence, still a rookies. Yeah, I don't know if every case is different of this one, but I mean, these are also like cool cards, though, in a sense. I mean, honestly, with PSA bringing back their lower end stuff, I wouldn't doubt it if people are grading like these Crusades. Like I said, these cards do look really nice, but there's nothing super, super crazy. I personally haven't seen any numbered cards because all the reds are not numbered. I mean, I haven't seen anything that's been eye-popping that's different that would be numbered. I mean, all cards are going to ship, and the shipping team would catch any number cards if I didn't have any, but I don't think I've seen any numbered. These have all just been just the red I don't know, Jim. I'm 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 a big Oregon fan, so I, I think I'd lean with Justin Herbert. But Joey B uh, has that f it factor to me, and I, I think he's gonna do pretty well. I just think Herbert with the Chargers is cursed. I think the Chargers are so cursed. So I don't know. He kind of has to get out of <laughs> he has to get out of San Diego, or sorry to LA. But I'm a big Oregon fan, so I mean I'd take Herbert over Joey B. I think Herbert is a better has a better arm strength than Joey B. I mean, he, I don't know. They're both really good, actually. I mean, I shouldn't even be trying to say Joey B's not good, but I mean, Herbert's pretty good though too, Jim. I mean, you can't say he's not. I mean, he just his team ha didn't have the success that Burrow's team did with Cincinnati. That's all. I think a lot of people have kind of like just 
love Joey B now because of what he did his second year. But, you know, obviously they, they could have easily lost that Raiders game and the wild card. And then this all would have done. We wouldn't have been talking about this. You know. Well, I feel like, you know, Herbert and the Chargers, they've lost a lot of close games, man, within five, three points. And they just, just couldn't, they just, they just couldn't pull it out, you know? But, um, yeah, I mean, I honestly think Herbert is probably a little bit better than Joby, but that's just me. I keep, I'm, okay, I'm, there's, that's just my opinion as an overall quarterback. But yeah, I, I can see what you're saying there. He has like, you know, the pain at the line of scrimmage with the Brady killer instinct. Yeah. I, I, for sure. I see the ki- killer instinct for sure. See, I feel like with Herbert, like, he's not a very vocal person. Kind of like Mariota was, where he kind of just leads on the field. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're, I hope they both have a great, two great careers, two good careers, you know? I hope that's like the, the, the Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes rivalry that's there, you know, with Joey B and Justin Herbert. And all those guys. <clears throat> all right. All right, guys. So there you go, guys. So yeah, I mean, you know, unless like I said, our case was just kind of eh. I mean, just really got stellar rookies that are Reds, and you know, the rookies and stars, the Crusades. Like I said, I mean, the shipping team's gonna go through all those cards. They'll double check everything, but everything does ship, so that's the good thing. But the whole point is obviously it's a cheap product. As you can see, a lot of these teams you know aren't too pricey, but you have a chance to win thousand uh, dollars. You know, so. I mean, I think that's why people bought in at the end of the day, you know? It's kind of like just taking that risk, throwing in, throwing in like $40, $50 to win 1000 So that's what people, I think, are pretty much doing with this product. So here we go. All it takes is one, guys. All it takes is one. Case might have been a stinger, Terry, but if you win 1000 bucks off of this, then it, then it wasn't a stinger case. That's what you got in for, right, you know? Chris had two. Poor hat three. I think all of those teams, KC, Cincy, Buffalo, they all match up differently with 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 one another. You know what I mean? Like they all they're, they're all they all match up differently. Like it's gonna be interesting. The AFC is definitely much more loaded right now than the NFC. That's for sure. Larry had fourteen. Mike had two. And then Terry with eight. That's four. So I think we all got 16 entries, yeah. Everybody was in. And yeah, J-Dog, I, <laughs> that game was wild, man. The whole, like, you know, the wasting the clock, timeout, I don't know what. Like, yeah, Chargers could have easily won that game, and who knows? Yeah, maybe they win a couple playoff games. I don't know. But they're all good. I think we're. I think it's exciting times for the NFL though, with all these young good quarterbacks in the league. All right, two dice rolls there. Let's go. Let's roll. Five, four, nine times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Bo. Five, four, nine, Larry and Chris Parent. Wow, there you go, Chris. I think Chris only had two teams, and there you go. That's all it takes. So congratulations. So Larry, you're going to get $500 back, and Chris Parent, you're going to get $500 back. So again, another one's in the store. You know, like I said, this is mainly for some break credit. Also on top of that, getting some potential good rookies and stars. Crusade inserts and the stellar rookies. So appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Also, this is a promo break on top of that. So not only were you having a chance to win money in this break, uh, it was part of the promo list. So now that we got this out of the way, boom, you guys have a chance to win even some more money. $1,000 and then two break credit codes of two fifty dollars each. So I'll paste in your guys' names right now on that too, actually. That's actually, actually a good idea right now. So actually, let me take this out. Paste these names here, and then I have it here on the promo for seven five. 
so let's just put that at 10. And then we'll say this is 7, 5. This was uh, rookies, stars, PYT number one. I right, appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.